I wanted to welcome you back after almost two weeks away. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. I'm glad that we had an online lecture last week so that at least you could keep in the mindset of mode of learning. Prior to the presentation this afternoon, I want to discuss the submission of your lab manuals. It's interesting that I can take this topic and embed it in the topic of this slide set the processing of information. It has to do with the answer to answers to questions or the discussion items that I pose in the manual. All items should be answered as an individual. I know that a lot of the work that we do in lab is based upon teamwork. However, you should be extracting the definitions and the ideas and the conclusions on your own. This is going to be critical thinking and it's critical to your processing of information. If you just take a picture of somebody else's work, whether it's a picture with your camera on your phone or if you take a uh, snapshot or a uh, picture, I'm sorry, a cut and paste from somebody else and just put it into your document, then all you've done is cut and paste and no processing of information with regard to the topic has been made. So please make sure that your manuals are individualized. Caitlin Thompson, our Friday instructor for lab, and I We'll be looking for this as we grade the lab manuals this semester. I'm going to ask that you please read through this presentation on levels of processing in human memory. We'll begin with this on Thursday in our lecture class when I see you the next time.